Well, we normally travel about 5,000 miles a summer, just her and I in the truck. This is father-daughter bonding on a whole new level. Stepping out of this world and moving into teenage world is so much different. Hey, I'm Gary Bativier. How much do you know about your car? Can you change the spark plug, maybe change the oil out, or, or simply just give it a good polish and wax job? Well, we met a teenager who could take this all apart and put it all right back together, but has dreams to do so much more. We take you to the heart of her story. Evans Racing Team is ready to run. In a typical week this summer, three to four nights of racing, living on the road, living their dream. I grew up, my uncle in Sykes, Missouri, my hometown, he raced and just at six months old, I started going with the family and, and uh, we moved to Iowa when I was five, but from the time I was six months till I was five, every Saturday night was spent at the racetrack. So, um, and then I got involved in different areas of motorsports as I got older, and so my whole life. So how long has your daughter been in the sport? Uh, she's 16 now, so uh, I started taking her to be a spectator and be a part of a pit crew when she was probably about six or seven. But pit crew was not gonna be enough. Soon she was driving. Where did the idea come from that maybe she could be out in one of these cars with all these guys that have been <laughs> doing this for a long time? Well, it's kind of a messed up story. Uh, at 10, she had a real bad go-kart rack and broke her back. Um, and she was terrified of, uh, uh, of racing the go-kart again. We tried it and she just, it wasn't there. Um, but since she was a little girl, this was her goal. Um, just, there's a, a local driver named Ray Gus Jr. who's in the Hall of Fame and she grew up idolizing Ray. Um, so uh, at 12, there was a modified uh, class for kids. Um, so we bought that in a truck and trailer, and, and we were driving from Clinton, Iowa to St. Louis, Missouri every week for her to race in that series. Um, and uh, we didn't have fun. So at 13, we said, well, we'll try a late model. And tonight, like every night, she is the driver, and he is the support team. So I don't even know if you've done this yet or not, but have you ever said to someone, I'm a race car driver? I have done that before, yes, a few times. What was their reaction? Um, usually because I'm so young and I'm a girl, it's usually like, well, slow cars, right? You know, like the four cylinders or, or even drags of junior dragsters. And then I tell them, you know, no, I drive a late model and it's about 500 horse. And their first reaction is, are you serious? What is your dream? My dream to do this, well, to move up to supers, which is like the full um, level that you can do in a car like this. And then to run a series full time and work on the car and just do this all the time, every day, and get paid for it. Do you ever look around some of these older guys that have been doing this for a long time and they're looking at you like, what is she doing here? Uh, yeah, like uh, Gary over there, he's been doing it for a long time and he comes and says hi to us every once in a while and he's a good guy. And then Ray Gus Jr., he retired a couple years ago and sometimes they come up and you know they try to give me some advice because I'm young and they think that things I'm doing are a little off, which is great. I love it. And uh, I, yeah, I think they're really cool. And uh, I think racing against them gives me a lot more to base off of because they're so much better and so much more experienced than I am. And uh, they teach me a lot. Although Darren says about a third of the family income goes into this dream, on the road together, they have formed a relationship that they simply can't put a price on. You spend a lot of time with your dad. I'm sure that probably gets annoying from time <laughs> to time as well. What do you most like about that? Um, I think working on the car I like the most just because he's been working on this his whole life. And I've been around it since I was little, but he just teaches me so much. Like the little stuff, like, oh, like this is better to do it this way than this way. And, you know, just like, like engine stuff. Like I'm not very good with that, and he's very good with that. So I think just bonding in the garage and 
teaching me tire stuff and just little things, yeah. Does he ever pull the dad card? Yes, quite often, actually. <laughs> <laughs> he says, hey, now, what, we discussed it, but now I'm the dad, so I'm yeah, making the call. Yes, and uh, a couple times I'll prove him wrong a little bit, and then he'll be like, well, I'm, I'm still a creepy, but I'm still the dad, so. But make no mistake, on the track, Tegan is in full control. And as she's trying to learn to drive, I'm learning to do this end of it. Uh, so I probably hold her back a little bit. Do you worry as her dad about her safety out there? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Her first year in the late model, I got nauseous and I wouldn't watch the first couple laps. Uh, and there's actually times when I've, I've said to her, hey, slow down a little bit. And she's like, well, I'm in a race car, so. You notice Tegan has a maturity that you won't find in most teams. What is the best part of all this for you? Um, I think being an influencer, just because a, a lot of the times there'll be little girls that come up to me and they're like, oh, can I have your autograph? Can I have your autograph? And they'll talk to me about how, you know, nervous they are, scared they are to start racing in a go-kart or start racing in general. And how, like, watching me is a lot of fun and they like watching a girl because there aren't very many. And I just think that's part of my favorite part. It's one of the reasons her dad has a hard time talking about just how proud he is. You, you mentioned she's a good student. Tell me a little bit about her. Oh, she's a phenomenal kid. Um, I'll probably get a little choked up, but um, yeah, straight A's, doesn't get in any trouble. Um, says please and thank you, just real quiet. Um, you know, when she was little and we needed a babysitter, no one ever objected, because she's just, she's been a good kid. And, and um, yeah, she, she does what she's told and, and then some, and she's a very hard worker. Where's the emotion come from? What is it about her that really touches your oh, heart? Just pride. Just <laughs> as a person, as a kid, just couldn't be any more proud of her. So where do they go from here? And how far do both you and her want that dream to go? Well, she, she wants to pursue it full time and be a traveling, uh, you know, everyone thinks NASCAR, but Tegan doesn't really like NASCAR. Um, she likes the dirt, she likes the late model world. Um, you know, our goal has been this whole time that if, if I can financially and, and everything get you here, if someone can notice you and get you a ride or maybe take a chance on you and get you here, that's that's kind of been our goal. And, and um, so, yeah, if she could do it full time, she's all for it. And I, I would love to see it. I mean, she's still gonna go to college. We that's. That's not an option because you, you have to have an education. You have to have a backup plan. You know, like I told her, if you break your back again, but you didn't go to college, well, then what are you going to do? So you got to have an education. So what do you think you're going to feel like when you hit that first checkered flag? Um, very emotional. I'll probably be bawling in victory lane. <laughs> but I think it'll be more emotional for him than for me just because he is very competitive and wants it very, very badly, probably even more than I do. It'll be very, very emotional. And I kind of think you expect to get there someday. Yes, very expected. soon. We're very, very close. Until then, this close-knit racing team will keep tooling and retooling, supporting each other, and racing after that dream. I'm kind of living through him a little bit when I do this because he never got the chance. I mean, he always drag raced, but he never did this. I know he's always kind of wanted to drive, even though he claims he doesn't and he'd rather work on him. So it's, you know, to be to impress him and to um, view good in his eyes has always meant a lot to me. So you're driving for him and he's working for you. Yes, yeah. If you like inspiring stories just like this, check out our YouTube channel, Gary Mativier, for more. Add the heart of the story with Gary Mativier podcast.